I'm going to say right off the bat that... Yeah, tell me, tell me. This movie pissed me off from start to finish. Did it re I really enjoyed this movie. Oh, I'll we are, right oh, we are going to be on so <laughs> totally uh, different differ. levels. Oh, this so many differences. My type of movie, kick-ass. And I even enjoyed the story. I don't think it has uh, uh, ever uh, been uh, done. Dude... I am not, and I, I, dude, I wanted to make sure I'm being fair. I looked up some of okay. my opinions, and I am not mm -hmm. the only one. Okay, yeah. This right. movie was on borderline with being written by a fucking AI. The wokeness was <laughs> on point. Oh my well, yeah, god, I mean, the wokeness was oh, on yeah, point. Oh yeah, I for mean, shit. yeah, the cop was very. Uh, not even, you know, dude. There were so many um, things. So many things. Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah, no, I give you that. It was very woke. Very, very woke. Film. woke. And it makes sense, you know. The, this came out. The story was was okay. The concept was cool. Okay, I, thought, I liked the, I concept, the concept. Was cool, but yeah. the play of the playthrough of most of the stuff being done was like ripoffs of other movies. Shit, there was even John what Wick ripoffs in this movie. Well, I, I was you got to remember this. You know, Jason Statham. This is all he do. Just kicks ass. Well, here's the a thing. A lot of his movies are cut and paste. Well, here's the other thing. Too. A lot of his movies. Mm -hmm. Jason Statham has never been known for his acting prowess he's a good action star good action star. yeah he yeah he can kick good, some ass he's not a good he's not a good mm -hmm. actor though no no i don't think he's a good you know vocalist either no. like, i don't think he portrays like i'm a this badass was one big well. fucking one-liner that's all this fucking movie was <laughs> and the acting was fucking atrocious oh my fucking god the acting was atrocious the one like, like we're gonna just no attack. one none of the none of nothing in this movie like even the cop mm -hmm. the cop everything she uh -huh. said made me mad because it was just yeah, like nobody speaks dry. like that she, dude if somebody well without giving anything away if somebody harmed my family the the way that i do i wouldn't be cracking jokes i i won't be cracking jokes and i would be on the side of the beekeeper number one okay and yeah i don't know it was just too i don't know like a little bit of uh have to be straight and narrow because i'm a cop type shit if yeah, wokeness was it? If wokeness was baseballs, I could win a game myself hitting all the baseballs that were woke out of the park with this one. Now I'm eager to find out exactly because I saw like maybe one or two things that are woke, but you're the genius when it comes to this. So oh, I, yeah. dude, I can't even I can't even fully go into all of it without fucking ruining some of the plots of this film. Yeah, that's but the like thing. Yeah. boss bitch, sure. bo boss bitch on so many different levels. Oh. All the way, yeah. Like everybody, here's the other thing. I you 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 smelled you smelled the fucking the the the, the agenda here. There wasn't a single dude who was in any f in any any field of, of power. Every every dude in this was either a dumbass or a bad guy. Oh, yeah, and even the bad guys, dumbass. even the bad guys were there was a like they were all just dumbasses. Like, and I I, I can't say too yeah, much I'm else without they... giving away certain things. I'm surprised they didn't give the beekeeper a female, you know, co-star and made her the badass because really that's the way it should What it gone. was is because they didn't mention it is Jason Stacey's mm -hmm. actually a, he's a trans woman in this. Yeah. 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 He's, he's a chick there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> like, the, again, <laughs> I like watching Jason Stacey kick ass. He's a good yeah. action guy when it comes to kicking ass, right? I you love know, the transporter movies. This, I, oh, yeah, that. And I even enjoy him more than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I will go out and say that. Yeah, no, I'll, yeah. I'll agree with you yeah. there. I, I actually, yeah. Yeah. I, I actually find mm -hmm. Dwayne Johnson egregious in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah very yeah, much. Exactly. I can't. Yeah, I can't get behind that. But he literally yeah, plays no. the Rock in every fucking movie he plays. That's all he, well, does. he does. Yeah, exactly. and he does it on himself because he knows it makes money. That's it. Mm -hmm. But no, Jason. St see the thing. Jason Statham has been typecast as the. He, you know what he? You know who he is? He is the modern day Chuck Norris. Yeah. Because that's all he's known for. He's known for throwing kicks and, and one-liners. And that's kind of what Chuck Norris was for a long time. Just a guy who throws right. the roundhouse kicks. Right? And everything. When you watch, like, Texas... Uh, what was it? Walker, Texas Ranger. All he did was his roundhouse <laughs> kicks through the yeah, whole fucking thing. Bullets, bullets don't hurt him. He's spinning yeah. in the air. And he's just, and he's just yeah. drop kicking everybody. That's kind of yeah. what Jason Statham's part is. So, hold on. Before right. I go, because I... I, 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 I you mm, did it again. <laughs> it's always stuff that really, really gets me. Okay? You see the stuff on screen, guys. If it's your first time showing up on this Wednesday, this is our spoiler-free. Don't worry. Uh, we're, gonna, we're not going to spoil nothing for you. We are going to talk about shit that we need to talk about, but we're not going to spoil the film. 
Go to the website down below. You see it, noblegi.com, N-O-B-U-L-L-G-I.com. Check out our merch store. Check out our, well, and you can get some Quest stuff and all that other stuff. Um, make sure to check out our full schedule to find out what's coming, what's going, what's being released, and what is being renewed. And we do have a lot coming in the near future. And also make sure to check we, out our archives. Very yeah, important. We come a lot. So we, oh, we're a lot. coming. It's all over the place. Mm -hmm. Um, if you are a first time viewer of the show, um, like I said, this is our quick in and out, easy, spoiler free movie review that we do. Unlike Grim Tales, where we spoil everything, um, at the last quarter of the show, we will be giving our scores. Um, that's like the last 10 minutes. So don't worry. We're not there yet. We're going to be talking with you for the next 15 minutes about things that we like, things that we don't like and so forth and so on. Um, so yeah. If you are new, like that's the format and we hope that you enjoy the show. Um, again, don't take our words verbatim. Uh, use our Go information. Yeah. Movie and yeah, you, even let us know what you thought exactly. and where we went wrong. Exactly. Yeah, I want to know. Leave your comments and stuff down below. Okay. That's the way. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, hit that notification bell, stay up to date with everything that we do here on the YouTube channel and the website. But with that said, let's get back into this fucking flaming pile of shit. It wasn't a flaming pile of this shit. Was a oh, flaming, we're gonna this hey, is here. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna go on record saying this right now. And again, I do not hate Jason Statham. I have mm. expected what I expect from Jason Statham. And Jason Statham did exactly what Jason Statham does in all of his movies. Yeah. Cheesy yeah. one liners, throwing action kicks, and doing some fight scenes. That's pretty much yeah. what you expect. If you expect Jason Statham to do any kind of groundbreaking acting in any of his oh, movies. You're in, a, you're in the wrong movie. Yeah, yep. wrong fucking actor there, okay? We just yep. got watched. Fuck, I mean, come on. This is the guy who did Mag, okay? <laughs> We're just saying, Yep. okay? But the story, the story, okay, again, the concept of the story was not bad. I will give you that. No, not at all. I actually enjoyed it. If yeah. they would have That's put more idea. premise on that, Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have hated it so much. But they did so little premise on that and made it more about this fucking cocksucker family and this fucking cop than it was about that. And none of that mattered. None of that, for the, the fucking progression of character building, I you didn't know, care the, about none of them. Well, of them. I was actually going to get into character uh, device. What I didn't like is that the attachment that he portrayed of having to the lady in the beginning that he was, you know, getting yeah. revenge for, there wasn't enough time to even develop anything. You like, know what pissed me off? I'm gonna tell you. I, I'm not gonna give it away. But the scene mm -hmm. in the beginning, when the the scene that set this whole fucking film off, okay? Right. I'd have choked her out. Him and that lady. I would have choked. <laughs> I'm like, why would you give financial? Why would you expect well, anything is, less? Like that. That was like typical shit that an old person would well, do. Well, right. I was actually going to get into that. This, this happens a lot, actually. This is typical that happens to elderly people. They yeah. get wiped out that way. And yeah, so I mean, I could see her doing it because they were portraying no, it was expected. a naive person. That's right. what was, so you're going to um, sit there and let an elderly lady be your financial secretary, basically, because that's basically what she was to, to, to the mm -hmm. beekeeper, to Jason State's character. That, that mm -hmm. was basically her keeping... That was her accountant. That, that was his accountant, basically. What the fuck mm. did you expect? Like, if anything, I'm like, you you kind of had that coming. You <laughs> it, got what it, you deserved. It's almost it's almost like he did it, so he had a reason to go on a rampage. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, he, want, that he wanted shit. to go take on it. a rampage. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that shit, please. Every character in this fucking film was out of a fucking shitty comic book. Like, they were just not uh, good characters. Uh, None of the them were. The kid was goofy. Um, the other, I'm, yeah, I'm going to say this, the other beekeeper. I'm going to fucking put her right. there. All right. Yeah, the girl. Yeah. Okay. I was, by that point, I was not even surprised. I was like, yep, yeah, whatever. I, I see where this is going. I was actually tallying it up. I'm going to start doing this with movies from now on. Instead, instead of giving my woke score at the end of a film, what I do uh, is every time there's a woke thing in a movie, I just, I up the score. I up the score. I up the score. Just wait until you fucking see what mine is for this one. Yeah, I can't wait. Oh, my yeah. fucking God. This movie pissed me off. Overall, I thought it was a decent... It kept me engaged. You know what it is? I, I tell you, you know, simple script for a simple mind. That's what the fuck's going on here with See, me. I, would, okay, I would normally agree with you 
because it's just supposed to be an action movie, right? It's the same yeah. thing we said about that fucking Chris Hemsworth movie, the one, um, right. whatever the name of that one was. Uh, I forget. Oh my god, it was the action one that Netflix did. Um, whatever it is, I did not give that movie too much shit for it being a bland story because I mean it's an action. It's, just, flick. it's supposed to just be. Into, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be just a simple, fun action movie. But this movie tried to be serious. This movie tried to be political. This movie tried to be politically correct. This movie tried to be something it wasn't supposed to be. So I'm going to come down on it real fucking hard. I'm dropping the sack of bricks on this motherfucker. This tried to be a blockbuster. This movie tried to be a blockbuster, and it wasn't even fucking close to being a blockbuster. Yeah, I would say it would have been a blockbuster. It did good, but it wasn't a blockbuster. The fact fact that this movie... Now, mind you, again... I looked like I, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't just getting carried away because, again, sometimes I just don't like something and I get really mm-hmm. shitty about it, right? So what I do in yeah. that situation is I look up just to see where I fall in the general populace. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm the not only. the only motherfucker that felt this way about this movie. Even other yeah. people said that this movie felt like it was written by AI. Oh, I got a lot of bad reviews. Yeah, no, I looked it up. But I don't know. I I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> This is probably, and I'm going to say this right now, okay? Because, and, and mind you, there's been some stinkers, but this is probably, as of the time of recording this, the worst Jason Statham <laughs> no. movie I've ever fucking seen. Oh, Jason Statham. Okay, I thought you meant our season. I was, no, I'm no, 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 say... no, 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 no. It's bad, but it's not the mm. worst. It's not the worst. I have seen mm. worse. I think his worst one was called... In the name of the of a king, I believe it was. It was I like haven't a, watched like that a, one. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, like I a Game of one. Thrones type of feel movie without the dragons and all. Yeah, yeah. No, um, I know which. I have. Yeah. I've not watched that one. Um, that 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 probably is bad. I can't yeah, speak on that, that one. Was... I haven't seen that one yet. Um, I I miss the Jason Statham of old. Okay, I miss the one. I miss transporter i miss war i miss these movies where he would do it he used to do a lot of movies with jet lee and i used to love right. those movies with jet lee he used now, to Tra- transporter was the one where he had to run right and stay active because his heart no 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 crank that was crank oh, that crank was one, crank. And, that crank was one and two was a really good movie oh, great those, movies, that yeah. was when he was in his prime you know you know where jason Statham is in his career right now he is the nicholas cage of action mm. right now mm. He's, he's just, the British version. Yeah, he's yeah. just taking whatever jobs. You would think after he fucking pretty much and I, this is yo. When we did when when he did that fucking um the spin-off of uh Fast and Furious with fucking The Rock, uh, J- uh something Hobbs, uh something oh. Hobbs, I forget what it's called. Um that was comedically funny, but believe it or not, even in that movie, I was mm-hmm. less I found The Rock less egregious in that movie than I found Jason Statham. Oh, he's wow. become a yeah. He's become a one-liner. That's all he is now. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even want to hear him talk. Like, yeah, I think he no, should fucking no, just, retire. And I it, just, just yeah, just watch him do his thing and be uh, keep your mouth shut. You ever heard that old saying in comics? It says, uh, "You ever you either you either live long enough. Uh, no, you either you either die the hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's Jason Statham. Yeah. Like, I don't want to see him no more. I don't want to see him in any movies. I want to remember the Jason Statham from War, One, Transporter, Crank. That's the Jason Statham I want to remember. I don't want to remember this Jason Statham where he's just taking any job he can get at this point. Yeah, he's not bold anymore and everything. Just Fucking Mag perfect. and then this shit? <laughs> yeah. Two Mags, mind you. Two. Two fucking Mags. Yeah. There didn't need to be two. They weren't too bad, though, either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I like those type of movies too. Every time I think about it, it makes my nutsack cringe up and wrinkle up, crawl back into my yeah. body. Meg, do you know what the fucking budget of this fucking movie was? This pile of shit. I think it was like forty million. Forty Should million dollars. Yeah, 40, forty fucking million. million. Here, yeah. Do you do do you do do you know what the fucking uh, box office was for this fucking piece of shit? Yeah, because yeah, because there's a lot of people that you know like movies like this, like me. One hundred and fifty-two point seven million. So it did good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing I want to get down to. Okay, okay. How much did it make in the U.S.? I I have this information. How oh, much? that I don't have. You, okay. you got the breakdown? No, I, I have the know. breakdown. No, it mm-hmm. made sixty-six point two million in the U.S. 
So, so just a only a little bit happy. over, okay? So yeah. I ain't that mad at the Americans. I'm mad at the rest of the motherfucking world that made it earn almost ninety million dollars. And the only reason why is because he's fucking British. That's probably why it's his own people. Like, yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, to we gotta go see our boy, yeah. man. Uh, what yeah. the fuck? Like, I thought that Chris Hemsworth movie. Which was a mm. Netflix film, was better than this film. That movie wasn't I, even no, that well. That yeah, no, but I do agree. That one had way more action packed than this one too. This one which, had action, but it was which in, shouldn't intermittent. be it the was, case coming from Jason right. Statham. Again, exactly. I'm not faulting Jason Statham because I I got what I was expecting from Jason Statham. Yeah. Not even the acting. Not even the acting was bad on his part because he's not a good actor. So I I, I knew what I was getting. But everybody else in this fucking movie was fucking horrendous. The acting for 40 fucking million dollars. Again, I've said this before. It Sometimes does not I take... I wonder where this money goes to. Like Jason Statham. He must have taken a shit. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, he must have taken a That's all that one. Because it wasn't into the acting. The production no, was okay. It was movie... average. The uh, the production oh, no, the was production average. The production was average. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't blow your mind. Like, no, it wasn't, there was nothing. The about acting this movie wasn't great. It cost 40 the casting dollars. could have been better. Uh, mm -hmm. The story would have been better. Uh, now, who was the who who was the assistant of the family? His voice is so familiar. Oh, he's he's been in a lot of shit. Um, he actually yeah, played Alfred. He no, he didn't. Okay, he played Alfred in two Batman's ago in the Affleck Batman. He played Batman. He is uh, Jeremy Irons. His name? No, I don't remember that name. Yeah, he's so actually I, in a I lot of stuff. Familiar. Yeah. If Mo anything, I'm going to tell you right voice, now. I don't know the person. Out of man. everybody in this movie, he's probably the only one that did the acting that I expected. Because he's actually not yeah. a bad actor. Oh, he has a great voice. Too. I'm going to tell you right so now, familiar. and I know I'm going to get hate for this, but I give zero fucks. Fuck, jo fuck Josh Hutchinson. Okay. That was a kid. He mm -hmm. was a kid. Fuck him. He's a horrible actor. Fuck Tyler James. He's a horrible actor. Okay. Where's it at? Where's which, where... one, which one was he in the movie? Oh, the cop guy, right? Was that yeah, him? Uh, yeah, he was a cop guy. Yeah, he was I'm, a cop guy. I'm yeah. looking. I'm looking for the fucking. Is this her? What was the What was the cops? The the the, the female cop's name. Do you remember what her name was in the movie? Not in the movie. No. Mm -mm. Yo, no, check this shit movie. out. Check this shit out. You ready for this? She did yeah. so goddamn bad, she ain't even in the top cast. Oh, here she is. She's all the way down uh, here. I was, was going to say she was like agent, a agent for the Yeah, but she's all the way down here. Her name is mm. Emmy Emmy Raver Lump, Lumpman. Go back to Lumpman. acting school. <laughs> Dude, if my mom was, you know, oh, well, I don't want to give it away but if something happened to a loved one like my i i would have been broken apart i would have like her acting was terrible in that department and she would like, dude and they were I, I trying to play her off nothing. to be a badass so bad yeah, like she's running yeah, into I, fucking scenes and she's like i don't care i'm alone she, she tried to play yeah, that i'm a lone cop thing like yeah yeah ooh. doing her thing Ooh, I, I don't need you leave me alone i'm gonna do it anyway don't get me I'm started on the whole call. presidential fucking run shit too i'm just uh, saying yeah. like this movie it was it was literally one hiccup woke shit after another. The only one that didn't do I I will say this. I will give this and I appreciate Jason Statham for this. He whooped that chick's ass. Oh, real tasty. And real tasty. Okay, if we're if we're going if we're going to be equal, all right? You, you're going to get hey. your ass beat in a movie. Hey. hey. She's in a job. No, I, people are going to hate me for this, but she was in the job of men. Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, hey, you don't pick a fight a, with Jason Statham. Titties don't matter. You're going to so, get that shit. Exactly. I'm just saying. So, so I'll shit. give them credit for that. They weren't going to be like, oh, no, we got, we can't. They didn't hold back. They didn't hold back on that. But, man, there was so much other yep. shit. You can yeah. tell that this movie was one affirmative action away from another. I'm just saying. And I, I, that's going to piss a lot of people off, and I don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, boy. They were trying oh to please so many demographics with this movie, and they fucking dropped the ball because they paid. They played too many politics and didn't write a good enough story to back it up. I'm just sorry. Like that uh, was the, okay. Then, if this, I said this with you earlier. If this was just a typical action movie and they didn't try to be political about it, I would have been like, yeah, just like we did with the Chris Hemsworth movie. But they right. wanted to be serious. They wanted to be politically correct. They wanted to have a message, uh -huh. and they dropped the ball. So if you want to play, if you want to play serious, I'm gonna score you like a serious movie. That's exactly what I'm going to do.
I ain't holding back from this fucking movie. Fuck this movie. This movie pissed me off. It's not. It right. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. Yeah. But fuck this movie still. I will say, not worth the rental. Not worth the rental by any means. Yeah. Not not worth it. I think this is. It was a good movie because I yeah. A little higher than I wanted to be. Really enjoyed it, but. Oh man, just just wait for it to be free. Wait for it. This is a Jason Statham movie. It will be streamable. Yeah, it's gonna be on Netflix. Yeah, it's probably yeah, gonna be on Netflix. That's probably where it's gonna right. go. Because Netflix loves picking up the fucking Jason Statham bag, uh, the the basket. Yeah. They 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 grab everything Jason Statham. They're like, yeah, he's the he's the action star we can afford. <laughs> it's the bargain bin actor. He's the bargain bin Bring action him star, on, baby. He is the bargain bin Sylvester Stallone. That's what he is. It's, uh, I, Put like, it this I way. like some Jason. Put it this way. I really do. I'm not even mad about this. You ready for this? Okay. Mm -hmm. Every has been actor mm -hmm. has been in the expendables. Right. And 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 on that Fast and the Furious type fucking movie too. Sure, because that's what Vin Diesel yeah. does. Vin Diesel grabs yeah. the people that need work, and so does Sylvester yeah. Stallone <laughs> with the Expendables. And yeah. who is a main character in the all most of the Expendables movies? That was Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Right. Now, again, I will say, because those are written by Sylvester Stallone, those are actually meathead decent action movies. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because that they're 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 that's all the, the the expendables are made for just meathead men. I'm not mad about yeah. that. That's what they're made for. Yeah. yeah they know what they're trying to be. Popcorn in a movie. Yeah. yeah. Just watch a bunch of shit. Watch a bunch of old has beens blow shit up. Blow that's shit what up. that is. Yeah. So, again, yep. I would not be hard on that movie for not having a great story because you know what you're getting. This movie tried to be something it wasn't. That's why it's getting the, that's why it's getting the treatment that it is. Mm -hmm. It tried to be a blockbuster series. And then all that political shit that they whispered in the background. Mm -mm. I, ain't pl I don't play that shit. Mm -mm. Top was being racial right from the beginning. We were doing. Dude, dude, oh, dude. If that was the other way around. And that, that, yeah, oh, my dude, God, it would never be it would have it never flown. Yeah. If, no uh, if, if one demographic of people can't say something racist, then other people yeah, shouldn't be able to say it other. either. Yeah. And I know there's going to be someone in the comments going, no, only white people can be racist. You shut your dirty uh, fucking mouth and go away. You're an idiot. Because you That's make no you sense. Yeah. Racism is yeah. racism. It goes for every race. So don't fucking yes, pick sir. and choose who gets to be racist and who doesn't. So fuck this abomination, all right? I'm just saying. With that <laughs> said, I want to get into the goddamn fucking <laughs> scores for this shit. Let's make your abomination. Dude, we were doing so good. <laughs> we were doing My so pick. good. We were doing so good with the lack of wokeness, okay? We were doing so good for a yeah. while. I haven't really been fucking calling shit. It's been really good. I've been given bonuses for lack of wokeness. Veins, and this veins is a new been one. Protruding. Yeah. And I this think is a I think this came out this year. Red this time. Oh, it did. I think you're tomatoing. You're tomatoing again. Oh, dude, my yeah, my my asshole is puckered. Okay, <laughs> it's movie, false eating. This movie got me <laughs> mad. All right, <laughs> let's get into the fucking scores for this fucking let's do thing. It. So I'm gonna be real brief because I want to get into the scores of this shit. If you're new to it, what we do here is we have five score sets. Okay, because we have uh, pacing now. Um, we have five score sets. We give a one through five. 1.5, 2.5 if needed. Um, those scores for this week are uh, story, acting, pacing, action, and production. Uh, and then after that, we give our woke score. That goes from 1 to 10. The higher the woke score... Oh, my bad, my bad. With the 1 through 5, it, there's also the noble pile if it's below a 1, and a noble seal if it's above a 5. Then we give our woke score, which goes from one to ten. If it's the higher it goes, the worse the wokeness is. You don't want that one to go up. And yeah. then we go to our overall score, which goes from one to ten. 1.5, 2.5 if needed. Noble pile and noble seal are in effect. So with that said, let's get into the scoring. And I'm gonna ask you, what do you give the score of the story? Um, I I, I like the twist with the whole well, we can't mention it, but I liked I it, the twist was nice. I gave it a four point five for the story. Twist. Yeah. What fucking yeah, twist? Well maybe the, maybe I shouldn't say a twist, but the way what the story was based on. I thought it was like fresh. the premise. The premise was okay. I wouldn't yeah, I, I wouldn't say fresh, there was a though. I haven't seen it done. Uh, it was like, fresh. The premise was fresh, but the way mm -hmm. they portrayed the premise. Well, Not everything good. that happened after after the new idea, yeah, was re yeah, cut and paste. Yeah. Like I will say this, right. and I won't say too much because it, it it will be a spoiler. The beekeeper 
uh, mm -hmm. Essence was okay. It was, was okay. Kind of fun. It was okay. And the, and the reason he went after the people too, I thought it was new. Well, sure, yeah. The, if they yeah. would have made this movie about that, this would have been a decent movie. Yeah, they kind of just that was a backstory though. That was literally right. back noise compared to the other shit that they were talking about in the movie. Mm -hmm. and that's why. That's why. That's why I gave this movie a one point five. Whoa, a one point five. One point five. This one point five yeah. because again they had a great premise. If they would have went with that premise, mm -hmm. okay, fair enough. I wouldn't right. have been mad. I would not have been mad. But the fact that they had this decent premise and they went and fucked it all up over some political bullshit yeah because they wanted to they wanted to try to fill the demographic yeah no i give it a 1.5 for that so moving on what do you give your score for the acting uh the acting is gonna suck. i think i gave it a 2.5 because besides jason stason being okay that that guy that i talked about that guy who was in charge of the family or mm -hmm. helped the family out whatever yeah. he was good yeah but everybody else was yeah pretty mediocre so I will give you that. That's a two point five for me. Okay. It I, wasn't. Oh, it wasn't horrendous though. I, I won't give them that. It was. It was just regular acting, in my opinion. Average. I say this was borderline horrendous. <laughs> I gave it a one point five. Wow. Oh, because two, only yep, two, two people again, and I won't even say because Jason Statham did not do good acting. But the reason why I'm not coming down on Jason Statham art is because he's not a good That's actor. Funny. It's what he does, yeah. He's a good action star. He's a, he's literally like if okay, is Sylvester Sylvester Stallone is a better emotional actor than him, and that's saying a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, because Sylvester Stallone's just a fucking meathead, but he can yeah. be more emotional than fucking J Jason Statham is literally a one liner. He everything yeah. everything he said in this movie was a fucking one liner. Yeah, even Arnold, it's better than Jason. Arnold Stason. can Arnold could probably put more emotion into his acting than Jason Statham. Yeah, but again, oh, and he has in plenty of movies. Yeah, but again, I expect that from Jason Statham. Jason Statham is acting exactly how Jason. So if you hire Jason Statham to act in your movie, he did exactly what he was supposed to do because this is exactly what he does. Yeah, he doesn't disappoint. He gives you what he's known for. But everyone else in this fucking movie, horrible acting. This was a cash in from every single person. The actress who played the cop in this movie, oh my fucking god. Never heard of her. Her either. partner, her partner was just as bad. Neither one of them fucking oh my god. Like whoa, I'm just, acting was bad. Acting was fucking bad. That's all I'm saying. Fucking 1.5. 1.5. I, I lucky I didn't give this my I was trying to be fair. That's me being fair. All right. Uh oh. Because yeah. I wanted to give this motherfucker a straight pile, Duke Duke. Okay. Um. Let's move on to the pacing. What do you give the pacing? Uh, I, the pacing was, I think, to me, was fine. The pacing was fine. Mm. I, it wasn't the best. I gave it a three point five. I, I wanted more action. I think this is one of his least action-packed movies. I, I agree. Um. Yeah. yeah. Definitely one of his last action-packed movies. Um. So a three point five. It, it could have been better. I gave the pacing a two. And the okay. reason I give it a two is because literally within the first 10 minutes, they tried to throw all this tr emotion at you to make you care. And I could give a fuck. And it wasn't. Uh, well, that's what I was saying. It, it just it didn't develop that no. relationship. between. I didn't two care. I didn't care about yeah. the beekeeper. I didn't care about the lady. I didn't care about the mm -hmm. bad guys. I didn't care about. No, I just wanted the movie to be over. Mm. Like, oh, man, do you know what the only part that bugged me was? What's that? And this is it when the bees got hurt. <laughs> he went about the bees more than the Straight yeah. up, that the yeah. bees the bees gave me more of an emotional attachment than anyone in this fucking movie did. And I'm allergic yeah, to bees yeah. and I run from bees, so that said some shit. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, pacing is it's got it too. All right. Let's move on to the action. What do you give the action in this film? It was to be expected, his type of action, what he does in every movie. So in that department, I was not disappointed at all. I gave it a 4.5. Um, it's what I'm used to from him. I went into this movie expecting that, just wanted a little more. He could have given us See, a little more. That's a, that's what's going to affect my score, what you just said. Okay. I have watched a lot of Jason Statham movies, and he's usually mm -hmm. very, very active. He was mm -hmm. not as active in this film as yeah, he usually I agree. is. I agree. The There's action no in this movie, movie was a little above average. 
the action mm -hmm. towards the end was better than the rest of the movie. Yeah. Like most of the shit throughout the majority, like there were some cool parts. It was like, ah, but it wasn't nothing like, like they tried to be edgy with some of the shit that they did. Like you see, they that. did. They tried to bring in some cool kills and yeah. everything, and they and were okay. They but were okay, been but it's just like, and, eh, yeah. all right. It was like after seeing John Wick, you're just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Again, <laughs> that, that's this movie, too, baby, this that's... movie tried to be John Wick so bad in a lot of ways. Kind of, kind of. Like it had uh, that atmosphere. Yeah, as I'm saying, and I'm sorry. You're not going to get the John Wick franchise. You're not going to get it. Mm. Okay, that was Keanu's thing. And, and and here's the thing. I'm sorry, Jason Statham. You are not Keanu Reeves. No, by far. It's hard enough for Keanu Reeves to be Keanu Reeves. Yeah, right? Okay? He has a problem being himself. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, no. So, yeah, no. A action, I gave it a 3.5 on this because... I, I've, I've seen okay. him... I've seen him... I've seen action movies better, and I've also seen him better in action movies. do better yeah. yeah yeah that i agree in all right so let's move on to the uh final of the five what do you give the production of the film production was decent um i thought that it was average mm -hmm. there was nothing special about it the fight scenes were, they were okay. yeah yeah they, averagely so it wasn't bad so i gave it a 4.5 as well oh uh, you were really a lot more forgiving than me i gave it a very average score i gave it a 2.5 that's the best i could do okay. it was fairly okay. down the middle even the gore that was in this movie was like yeah whatever uh there wasn't that much gore yeah but they tried that was the, that was the they thing tried. they're lucky they're lucky because of the way they did it i like i was tossing i was good i almost gave this a gore this score this isn't giving nothing away, but the severed fingers, right? They look fake. They did. Like the bone and shit. They look like fake. a fake hand. Like it yeah, it did. You no, could I, tell. Again, yeah. like that's why I said production for forty million dollars. They're lucky I gave it a two point five. Like I, I uh. so now we move on to the fun one. What do you give <laughs> your woke score of this film? I originally uh, came up with a two point five. Okay. But I think you're going to give it high because I you still more than I did. And okay. you know, that's always the case anyway. Um, but mine was a, a 2.5. It was it was higher than I've ever given a movie, I don't think. I think. Okay. 5.5. Yeah. <laughs> right out there. 5.5. .5. Jesus. So you gave it the 5 plus that extra 5% you no, no, give it. No, 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 no. I give the 5. No? I give I give rewards for not being woke. Oh, that's right. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, five. This is a okay. five point five. Was this the wokest film I ever seen? By no means, no. Mm, that no. one fucking Irish no. film that we watched was fucking probably the worst one so far. I I think Aladdin takes a cut for that one, in my opinion, on this show. No, I still think. What what what, what, what was that Irish one about? Was that we did? Did we did we, did we do that on Grim Tales? The Irish one was on Grim Tales. You're talking okay. about the, with the little creatures. Yeah, and the little shit? creatures. Yeah. That's yeah, probably that the wokest one I've ever seen ever. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was pretty up there. But yeah, if you're saying on if you're saying show, West, probably Aladdin. Aladdin. Yeah, yeah, probably Aladdin. Yeah. Aladdin yeah. was definitely well, terrible. But but again, I can't even be that mad. This I okay. This I should be mad at because this was Miramax. Okay. That was and Disney. It's not, it's not expected on a Jason Statham film either. No, it's not. It's normally. Yeah, but my yeah. point is, I expect that coming from Aladdin because it's Disney. Right. Disney's middle name is woke. Yep. So it's like whatever. I get it. But this this is Miramax. Miramax used to fucking do like movies about hookers and shit. Oh yeah. So yeah. So yeah. A five point five. Okay. So now let's get into the overall. Let's get this fucking dumpster fire put out. Uh, what do you give your overall score of the Beekeeper? Putting aside the bad acting, somewhat bad acting, and putting aside the woke stuff, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I get it for seven point five. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna differ. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna fucking. I hear, differ. I hear it. I hear it. Yeah. Oh, we're so gonna differ on this 7. one. Seven point five. Yeah. Seven point five. That's yours. Seven point five. That's, that's your final answer, that's right? My, that's my final okay. answer. I gave it a fucking two. What? I gave it a two. Wow. They're, they're lucky I didn't give yeah. it a fucking pile. Wow. That's me being fair. They gave it a two. I give you the wokeness. I give you the bad acting, but the movie wasn't bad. The movie wasn't that bad. I have. Would seen... I would I pay for it ever again? No, I don't recommend. No one pays for it. But definitely Netflix. Yeah, it's definitely a good watch. I have seen better pornos. <laughs> well, so have I. Yeah, I have porno, seen yeah. better pornos made by people in their own house. 
Yeah. No, 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 no production. No, no production, nothing. Shoot. Just a fucking <laughs> shitty old camcorder and some bad yep. lighting would still be a yep. better movie than this. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it right now. I'm not even that mad at Jason Statham, but yo, my guy, you need to, you need to raise your bar a little higher. If you're going to try to still be relevant, make a fucking transporter I, four for fuck's sake. I think what it is, he's not getting those knock at the doors as much as he used to. No, so he's because he's grabbing movies. Go knock on fucking Sylvester movies. Stallone. See if he'll pop out another fucking tr yeah. Expendables or something. Shit. Yeah. Go talk something. to fucking Vin Diesel. See if he'll put you in another Fast and Furious movie. Shit. Mm. Without The Rock. No, my bad. I forgot. That was already confirmed. No. Nah, he's uh, going to be in it. <laughs> mm. He's coming back. Mm. See, again, like I'll leave you with this, okay? This is how bad I didn't like this movie. I can watch the Fast and Furious movies. They are stupid fucking movies. They are. Mm -hmm. They are not good yep. stories. They are. They're, but they're, they're fun. But they're fun. They are. You yep. go watch. You when you go to watch a Fast and Furious movie, you know what to expect. You're going to watch a dumb, stupid action movie. That's all it is. Fun it's not movie. supposed yep. to be a great movie, right? Story sucks. Everything sucks. Yeah, but this movie, movie tried so hard to be something meaningful and had so many political fucking points that they tried to make in this. Mm. The president, everything, everything from the president down to the meat, the, the hidden me, everything, everything in this fucking movie was a goddamn political quote. And I, I told you, like, I hate when they, when they, when they insert political shit into a movie just for the sake of politically inserting it. That's when I get yeah. mad. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, they could have just had a president. No, they had to make it a female president just to like, and that, but he's like yeah. they, they, it wasn't even like fucking like they, I, I know why they did it. Yeah, of course. And I don't even care about this. It's not the only movie that's ever done that. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to do it, make it make sense. Yeah. And then, no, I'm not going to say it because I'll give the story away. You guys will get it. And it, it's it's less about the sexuality and more about why they did it. That's yeah. why. If they would have done it, if they would have did it, it's and actually like made it new, make sense. It's almost like the new the political climate that we're in today. They're kind of like saying vote that way oh, vote yeah. that way well and people will like yeah. that they're like see this movie's yeah. good we put it in there like I'm yeah we, yeah exactly i'm sorry horrible movie don't rent it watch it if you really must see a jason statham movie of this caliber wait till it's on netflix it'll be there yeah. don't worry probably soon god forbid i swear i fucking swear Mir 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 miramax you've made some really shitty movies in the past if you make a fucking sequel to this goddamn film Ooh, don't. I'm don't do to, it. I'm trying to think. Could they even? They they mm -hmm. made a fucking sequel to Meg. That's true. And that didn't even end up in the cliffhanger or anything to have one. So yeah, that's you, what I'm yeah, saying. Right. That they movie didn't even need to it. exist. That was a pure cash yeah. in. I'll so yeah, passion. I just ah. again, <laughs> that is the beekeeper, guys. Uh fucked. I rent at your own peril. If you really must rent this, that's on you. But if you have patience and you're not in any fucking real hurry to see this movie, wait for it to be on Netflix because it will be there. I don't, I don't, I don't think Jason Statham is doing anything that people are going to run to the theaters or or rent to do. No, right not now. unless he's going to be in a fucking yeah. Fast and Furious movie anytime soon, yeah. or maybe even an Expendables movie. That's probably the only two things he's got going for him right now is Expendables and and Fast and Furious. Other than that, I really don't see him doing anything else. Fucking make a Transporter Four. Maybe I'll watch that. Because I liked those movies. But don't wokeify them either, though. They will. <laughs> but that is the quest reviews, guys. We went a little. It's always the fucking angry ones. Yeah. God damn yeah. It. Yeah. But that you pop is. a vein and you go uh, over time. I'm just telling you. And I'm, I'm watching this shit. Fuck, I'm like, fuck it. I don't care. I'm getting this. I'm saying this. Um, but that is, the, that is the quest reviews, guys. Like, again, rent at your own peril. If you can, just wait for it to come out on, on a streaming service of your choice. Um, but that is the quest reviews, guys. Make sure to go over to the website, noblegi.com, N O B U L L G I.com. Check out the merch store, check out the schedule, find out what's coming, going, being released, and being renewed. And make sure to check out our archives, both of insights and gaming. Everything past, present, and future is there. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay up to date with everything that we do here on the network. That is it, though. We will get the hell out of here. Start watching and. Peace out. Peace out, guys, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.